Now check this out. This is the Chrissy Swan Show. Welcome to the Chrissy Swan Show. Hi, Jackie. Good afternoon. You know, Mystic Chrissy's just around the corner. I've, I've had a couple of weeks off, so I don't know how I'm going to go. But I think I might have given the gift to my daughter, Peg. Last night we were sitting around having dinner. And I said to them, uh, I've just found out. Like, I've been your mother for years now. Nearly 15 years ago I became a mother. I've only just realised that all my kids are fire signs. One each. Sagittarius, Leo and Aries. I think I was with you at this lunch when we were discussing all the star signs. Yeah, and I just can't believe that I didn't realise that. No. Because I've always wondered that, God, they get along so well. And I hear all these horror stories about siblings fighting and whatever. Anyway, I said to them, it's because you're all fire yeah. signs and that's why you get along very well. Leo, 14, chimes in with, what a load of rubbish. <laughs> I love Star it. Star signs are, an, are absolute crap. Too right, Leo. And then Kit, my 11-year-old, says, you know, you're just not going to believe this. This is so creepy. Kit says, yeah, look, I think you're right. I think, you know, it, it's, it's, it can't be... All about star signs. It's got to be your character and whatever. He's like, you know what? Like Jeffrey Dahmer is the way he is because he's, he's a Capricorn. A, because he's a Capricorn. That's exactly what he said. Peg's listening. Obviously, we're all at the dinner table and she goes, Jeffrey Dahmer was a Gemini. Stop. And I went, what? How do you know that? And she just stared at me. Anyway, I Googled it and it says, Jeffrey Dahmer, Gemini. Whoa. I know it's bizarre. I don't don't at me about why my kids know who Jeffrey Dahmer is. Don't do that. <laughs> They're definitely their their mother's offspring. But yeah, Peg's like, oh, Jeffrey Dahmer's a Gemini. That is insane. Insane. You Maybe do, I- you do know you're not actually a mystic, yeah? How very dare you? <laughs> I'm going to prove to you that I am. Mystic Chrissy. Oh yes, I'm well rested. It's been weeks. I've been consulting the runes, whatever that means. The witch? The runes. What are the runes? They're like little um, sort of like medieval stones with characters on them that mean things. It's basically tarot. Oh, cool. It's stones. Yvette, hello. Hi. (laughs) Do you know how this magical and mystical segment works? Yeah, I do. uh, You've got to guess. Um, You've actually got to predict and... um I'm excited. I'm yeah. going to see you get. <laughs> because I don't know you at all, Yvette, but I'm guessing no. that there is some sort of French connection there. Ooh. <laughs> that is, um, it's actually funny you say that. <laughs> Your name's Yvette. It's a, fr- <laughs> it's, a, it's a French name. So would that be a yes, Yvette? Yes. All right. You actually like a bum bag, Yvette. I quite fancy a bum bag, actually. Yeah, and <laughs> it's very rare um, to meet somebody else who has embraced the bum bag lifestyle, but he, yet here you are. <laughs> it's a mum thing, I'm telling you. When you go for a walk, you like not ear pods, you like the th- the ones with the... Um, oh, she's old school. The, she likes the ones with the cord. The earphones. No, no. Oh. <laughs> Correct decision, of it. I can see I can see tortellini around you, Yvette. No. <laughs> we just discovered she's French and you've gone for an Italian cuisine. Listen, <laughs> French people eat Italian food as well. Come on, Mystic. Okay, Ray, Faye, Renee, Alison Bray. <laughs> no, not ringing a bell. <laughs> not even Alison Bray, the wife of the great Cameron Daddo. <laughs> She does talk a lot about menopause. Are you menopausal, Yvette? Whoa. I'm 27. (laughs) (laughs) I feel like I'm on a Mamma Mia podcast all of a sudden. (laughs) Basil and parsley are around you. I had parsley today. Check your teeth, (laughs) Yvette. Check your teeth because there could be a little bit of rogue (laughs) greenery. All righty, one more big hit, Mystic. Okay, <laughs> I see a blue-coloured, grey, blue-coloured cat or dog around you. No, animal free. <laughs> Are you a Gemini, Yvette? No, Sagittarius. All right, we're going downhill. <laughs> what, why? Okay, I can see bacon around you. Bacon. 
I actually live in a pork free household. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Wrap it up. Okay. The Chrissy Swan Show. For all your health and beauty products and advice you can count on, visit Priceline Pharmacy. Priceline has a massive range of brands at great everyday prices. Whatever you're after, you'll find it at Priceline Pharmacy. Hurry into your nearest Priceline Pharmacy or check out Priceline.com.au. The Chrissy Swan Show. Chrissy's clickbait. One of my interest areas, Jack, and I think it's yours too, is uh, films that big actors and actresses have passed over. Yeah, we've loved this for years. I just love it. Rachel McAdams has come out and said she turned down Iron Man. So that must have gone to Gwyneth Paltrow. Yep. Casino Royale, Mission Impossible 3, and The Devil Wears Prada. I love The Devil Wears Prada. I really think Anne Hathaway, you know, there was no one better than her for that role. No, Rachel McAdams is amazing, and Regina George in Mean Girls is iconic, but Anne Hathaway killed her. Absolutely. So everything turns out, you know, for a reason. And my initial thought was, God, who was managing her? Who was advising her against this? But she had a bit of a um, a meltdown with the, the, the fresh fame from Mean Girls and The Notebook. Can you imagine what it would have been like? Two of the biggest movies of that time. Just massive. And she wasn't dealing well with it. And she sort of realises in hindsight that she kind of cocooned herself away in Canada as a self-protection mechanism. Well, it works. It works. Maybe she should have let her other castmate, Lindsay Lohan, know she was doing that (laughs) and her career could have worked out a little different. This is the thing. I mean, Hollywood is littered with people that don't listen to their mental health Mm -hmm. triggers and um, it never ends very well. So that's good. She's also been photographed with hairy armpits and everyone's losing their mind over how empowering it is. I was surprised to see that she had hairy armpits, yeah. but I like it. I think it's great. What I, do you think of it? I, I initially saw it, and sometimes I feel like I think it's. I don't have an issue with it, but I don't get what makes it so empowering. I think it's because I don't understand. You know what I mean? Why it's I such know. a statement? I know, but I think that. I mean, I don't want to get all woke and stuff, yeah. but I think because you're a man, you haven't been kind of put through the same. Filters and been told the same messages that women have been told. Yeah, okay. maybe you have. I don't know. No, that's fair. We're not men aren't conditioned to have to shave their armpits. No, and the rest of it. Yeah. all the rest of it. Yeah. So to see a woman saying, "Look at this," it's not just a hairy armpit. It's saying, "I do whatever I like and I don't care." Yeah, yeah. No, I, I think that's that. what it's about. Let's move on to um, our very sore point, Frank Ocean, who <laughs> didn't who. Absolutely did not deserve. Oh, don't don't do it again. I'm in a good mood today. <laughs> Who didn't deserve to headline Coachella, but did very very badly. Um, Justin Bieber was uh, secretly filmed at the gig asleep during the set. Oh, and Biebs loves Frank. Snoring. I mean, I don't know if he was snoring, but, you know. I'd like to imagine he was. I like to imagine. I like to imagine that he had one of those, you know, those breathing kits on for sleep at the um, Hayley holding the gas bottle behind <laughs> yeah, him. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then he posted later saying that Frank Ocean was amazing and the set was amazing. How can you do that, Justin, <laughs> when you were sleeping? No, good on him. He's backing in his mate. Oh, my God. I do love Justin Bieber. Chrissy Swans. Where's Fizz? Wine bag. Celebrating 75 years of fun. It's not a party without Whiz Fizz. It really is not a party or a lolly bag without Whiz Fizz. Right. So exciting. Every good party had Whiz Fizz. It's so exciting still to get a lolly bag from the kids' parties, which you steal 100%. The lolly bags are for the parents. You reckon? And I'll, yes. And I'll fight you. <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's always so exciting when there's Whiz Fizz in there. Am I right, Emma? Yes. Hi, Chrissy. Hi. How are you? So happy to talk to you. You're a legend. Oh, you are. I really yes, hope you, you win. Are. There's a thousand dollars cash on the line, Emma. It's so much oh, money. It is. I could use it so much right now. I've got so many kids, and they all just needed new school shoes. Oh, I love it. How so? You've got so many kids. How many exactly? I have five, but oh. four at home. I know, Emma. Crazy, I'm crazy. When you said, I have, I thought you were going to say a hundred. <laughs> and I thought, wow, you've got a, your cervix must be really <laughs> worn out. Oh, um, 
A little. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm sure it still is. A little, a little. <laughs> All right, my darling, let's get you this $1,000. You need it, and I want you to spend it on yourself and not the kids. Oh. How it works it is, is my birthday next week, so I'll tell you what, if oh, I win it, I will. Oh it's my god, I me. hope so. I hope this happens. So what it is is to celebrate seventy five years of Wiz Fizz happiness, we've got another iconic, very, very old retro brand or product or thing that probably your mum Oh, that sounds like had. Me. Okay, great. <laughs> <Yep>. Great. Um <laughs> And you've got to guess it. There's going to be a clock that winds down, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Let's go. Clue number one. Maybe give her a little bit of time before you. Do. I don't know. Just say. All right. I I'm, I press the buttons. I really want Emma to get this thousand dollars. Hold off on the button. <laughs> Here's your first clue. I'm a product that's been around since 1938. People have parties to sell me to their friends. $1,000. Yes, yes. Papa, where you yes. said it. You've got a thousand dollars. I've got a thousand dollars. Yes, yeah. Emma. Yes. That oh. is so awesome. Oh, my God. A thousand dollars cash. That's so exciting. Go, Emma. Oh, my God. Woohoo! I'm going to have the best birthday week ever. Yes, don't buy it on silly old school shoes and pencils and rubbish like Screw that. Screw the kids. <laughs> buy, buy something for yourself. Legend. Good I'm on so you. I got that. Oh, that's made my day talking to you and you winning that oh, money, Emma. Wow, just hearing your voice. I've been following you for years and I think you're eight. Put I the kettle on. I want to come and have a cup of tea with you. <laughs> yes, come on down. All right, come I will. Up. I bloody will. <laughs> All right, Emma, thank you so much for playing. And that's it for today. Head to the Nova Player app and register if you want to be tomorrow's caller. The Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. An influencer admits killing two cats gets fired. I just can't wait <laughs> to click on that and find out what rotten business this is This is up to. All right, here's the thing. I haven't been able to get into my therapist. Right. And I often start conversations I have with him with, is it normal to blah, blah, blah? And then he makes me feel better. Yep. Usually he says, yes, that's fine. Yep. But I've got nobody to sort of float these things with. And in the absence of him, I'm going to float it with you. Dr. Jack is here. Dr. Jack and Dr. Chrissy Swan Show audience. So I have had a sore neck for ages and I drink a lot of tea. Those two elements are very true of me. Mm-hmm. So every night when I go to sleep, I've got these amazing wheat bags that I wear oh, around. Yeah. My, it's like... It's contoured to my... I remember um, them as a kid. Oh, my God, they're so good. Contoured to my neck, and it's so heaven, and I've got to microwave them for two minutes. I always forget. I mean, you know, girl oh, surprise. Chaotic Chrissy, <laughs> wow, been, I'm sure. <laughs> you've been working with me for a long time. Of course Can you, you forget. Can you believe <laughs> that I would only remember that I like a wheat bag when I'm already in bed in my pyjamas about to nod off, right? So that's how I go, what's missing? Oh, the wheat bag. Yeah. At that point, my day is over. Like, I'm in my happy place. Bed is my favourite place. Your legs have unsubscribed <laughs> from correct, the day. Correct, yeah. correct. And in full disclosure, you have to go up some stairs to get to your bedroom. So that's another added effort that you don't need to do once you're in bed. The kitchen may as well be in a different suburb. <laughs> right? Correct. So I... It wasn't my idea. It, it is courtesy of my genius daughter, Peg, who suggested... She said, "You need a microwave up here, because I'm on the fir- you know the second <laughs> floor, or first floor, or whatever you know, yeah, second yeah. story of the house. It's the only thing up there, just my bedroom. Yeah. I'm like, you know, Rapunzel. <laughs> Everything else is downstairs, and I it, it's very annoying to go downstairs and wait for four minutes. I can't. Sometimes I can't do it, and then I have a terrible, very terrible night's sleep. So Peg said, "You need a microwave," and she googled it. They're fifty two dollars. It came up. She said, you can keep it up here and you can also use it to microwave your cups of tea because I have these cups of tea all the time and I have to go all the way downstairs to zap them for 20 or 30 Mate, seconds. I want you to do it here at work. You <laughs> microwave that mug. It's probably been sitting there from Monday, but oh, she's getting reheated <laughs> on Wednesday, Arvo. <laughs> Reuse, recycle. <laughs> so here's my question to you, 13, 20, 4, 10. Do you have a microwave in your bedroom? For heat bags, wheat bags, and cups of tea or coffee, um, that's all it's used for. Is it a ridiculous thing? Because I think it makes a lot of sense, but I also feel like 
It's absurd. The Chrissy Swan Show. I'm about to find out if I've utterly lost my mind. Should I have a microwave in my bedroom specifically to reheat my half-drunk cups of tea and my neck wheat bags? When did you turn 70? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to um, chime in here. I'm all for it because I've got one of those $50 Kmart microwaves and they're great. I've had it for like two years. Really? Yeah, and it because gets to work out. This is Peg's idea. My 10-year-old daughter is like, you've got to do something about this and here is the solution and here's the link. She is really like my personal assistant. She is. She comes up with all the good ideas and she says, I'm sure if she could, she would go down and get it. I could do it myself, but I don't know how click and collect works. Well, let's not go down that route. I'm <laughs> asking you, is it normal? Is it is it a, a thing that I should do? Lee, what do you think? I think it's an unreal idea because you could also use it for waxing your legs. Oh, oh Lee. I don't know why I haven't thought of this. And your moustache. Yes, there you go. <laughs> Lee, do you have a bedroom upstairs? <laughs> and- say, Lee, do you have a moustache? <laughs> <laughs> Lee, oh, do you suffer like from it. rogue hairs? <laughs> um, Lee, do you have a bedroom upstairs and everything else, the engine room, is downstairs? Yes, I do. And it pains me to have to go down and heat my cup of tea up too. Lee, get yourself a microwave. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Yeah. All right, Lee, a price line voucher for you. Let's go to Daniel. Daniel, what do you think? I think it's a brilliant idea. Um, I had a microwave and a little mini bar fridge in the bedroom for quite some time with our first firstborn child um, because we lived in a two-story home and it just beats going up and down the stairs. And quite often we were cooking popcorn or hot pockets on it, in it, while watching TV late at night. Oh, see, this is a slippery slope, <laughs> yeah, Daniel. I've just realised. Yeah, this is a real slippery slope for me because I may never leave my bedroom. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Daniel, Priceline voucher for you. Is it Dame? Dame from Brizzy, Dame. It's, it's Dame. Hello, how are you, Chris? Love your guys' show, the both of you. Good on you, mate. <laughs> now, you're not going crazy and you're not weird. We've been doing it for about six years. And we have a bar fridge, uh, a small microwave, so little, little <laughs> small bar fridge, small microwave, toaster, and a kettle. <laughs> You're joking! <laughs> toaster no, and we are not. This is brilliant. What's in the fridge? In the fridge is my husband's Pepsi's, which he loves, and the milk, of course, to make the coffee. <gasps> I love this so much. <laughs> Do you have kids? Yes, we have a 14 year old, and she got sick and tired of going up and down the stairs, so guess what? So that means that you and your husband slash boyfriend partner can husband, just stay yep. in your room and yep. drink Pepsis and make a coffee and you never have to leave again. <laughs> never have to leave. And when COVID was there, it was brilliant. We didn't have to leave at all. <laughs> you are living the dream, Dame. And there's a Priceline voucher with your name on it. I'm going to do this. You've got to do it. All right, I'll give you an update. a mini bar too. I can't do that. I can't. <laughs> yes, you can. Quizzy. Oh, yeah. Limited edition. Money can't buy. Bumbag lifestyle. Well, it's weird that you haven't put your hand up for one. <laughs> I was waiting for this day to come. It's got Chrissy Swan show all over it. Because you-, you know me, I'm a real merch kind of guy. <laughs> Are you a merch kind of guy, Erin? Uh, merch kind of girl, maybe? Yeah, come on. There's this little joke, Erin. Line up. <laughs> All right, you are playing against Bronwyn. Hello, Bronwyn. Good afternoon, Chrissy. How are you? Good, thank you. Who knows who's going to reign supreme here out of you or Erin? Um, your name is your buzzer, ladies. Give it a test. Erin, yes. Bronwyn. Do it again, Bronwyn. Bronwyn. Bronwyn, this is going to make it very hard. Bronwyn, are you there? We can't hear you. Oh, uh, let's just... Should we power on? Should we power on or do we check that we... Bronwyn, still- hello. <laughs> we'll get Annie to quickly check, Bronwyn. We'll gra- quickly grab another caller whilst Erin stays on All the right, line. let's do that. How are you, Erin? I'm good. How are you? How much do you want this bum bag and what would you put in it? Um, you carry the essentials, don't you? You carry your phone, you carry your SPOS card, maybe a bit of cash. Yeah. Fantastic. Spot on. Hey, Erin, we've got uh, an opponent for you now. We have Jill in Queensland. Good afternoon, Jill. Hi, how are you going? Jill. 
Look at you. You've Stephen Bradbury'd it at the last minute. Hopefully you, you've you got some idea of what's going on. It's a general knowledge quiz. It's the best of five, being the first person to get three answers correct to win the game and walk away with the money. Sounds Can't good. buy a Chrissy Swan Show bum back. Woohoo. There okay. can only be one winner. All right. Questions. Your name is your buzzer, by the way, by the way Jill. Yep, yep. You missed it out. Okay. That's fine. Bad Bunny, Blackpink and Frank Ocean are currently headlining which music festival in America? It's a big one. It's got the big Ferris wheel. You I get the Australian ones more than the American ones. Uh, yeah. oh, Coachella. Question. Oh, I said Jill. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jill, did you? I thought you said I'm a Dill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Question two. Jill. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to say Coachella. No, no. <laughs> All right, you guys. Next Jill, I was serious about to say enough of that negative self-talk, Jilly. <laughs> okay. Question number two. Tomatoes are a type of what? Erin. Erin? They're a type of fruit. They are. It's a trick question, isn't it? Question number three. On this day in 1987, the first instalment of The Simpsons aired. Name the town The Simpsons is set in. Erin. Yes, Erin. Erin Jill. Springfield. Springfield, correct. That's two versus zip. This one's for the win, Erin, if you get it correctly. Come on, Jill, I believe in you. (laughs) (laughs) Who painted the famous Mona Lisa portrait? Erin. Yes, Erin, for the win. Leonardo da Vinci. You are correct, Erin. Wow, that was a really loud winning well sound. <laughs> and it's only for a bum bag. <laughs> now, you have won the bum bag, Erin. But, Jill, you have won our hearts, even though, Aww. by your own words, you are a bit of a deal. <laughs> <laughs> the Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. Thrilled to welcome back the very first Our guest first we've guest. ever had on this show, the great Sarah Arbo. Woo! It is so nice to be back, you guys. Last time we spoke to you, we were both starting new jobs. Um, yes. I mean, Chrissy, look, the we good were. news is, is that neither of us have been fired. <laughs> And 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 we've passed the probationary period. It's been three months, so they can't even fire us oh now. Oh, my God, it has too. I didn't realise. I'm yes. going to go full sexual harassment now <laughs> and, and see what, what I can do. I know. Yeah. Now, I saw mm-hmm. you on – there's a couple of things I want to cover off. One is I mm. saw you today and I said to Jack, oh, my God, she still looks gorgeous. Honestly, like I would have thought certainly by now you would have looked like a potato that had been dug up from the ground with the new hours. I feel like a potato that's been dug up from the ground. (laughs) Okay. Thankfully, I have like literally a team of magicians every morning at 4 a.m. who paint my face and style my hair. Yes. I would not. There's just no way you could do it by yourself. Isn't it magic? Isn't it Mm. magic? And you Mm. turn up and you're like something from a Disney villain storyline. Yeah, you'll never see me do one of those before and after pictures, I'm just saying. Ha-ha! <laughs> because no one wants to see before. Now, I hate to talk about sleep straight off the bat because mm. you must already be very bored because your your alarm goes off at, what, 3? 3 a.m. 3. I mean, that's ridiculous. Yes, it is ridiculous. But, you know, somebody very wise once said to me, Chrissy, this might sound familiar, just letting you know, that bedtime is 7.30 p.m. And I remember when that very wise person said that to me, I laughed at them and I said, no, no, no. (laughs) Who goes to sleep at 7.30 p.m. (laughs) like a baby? (sighs) Not me. I'll be pushing through until at least 9 o'clock. Well, I'm here to tell you, Chrissy, that you were right and I am these days going to sleep at 7.30 What happened to you? Uh, I know, (laughs) JC. It's so sad. I'm embarrassed for myself. It is sad, but I'm so (laughs) thrilled for you that you've worked that out so quickly. It took me 19 years of fighting it before I, I acquiesced and went, look, I've got to do this or I'll well, you die. Gave me, you gave me the right advice. And so I, I pushed, for, I relented eventually, but I really, I just pushed through for as long as I could and sort of last week it hit me. It's like, the only it's, way that me. you'll stay sane and married, let's put it yes. that way as well, yes. and employed. You've absolutely <laughs> nailed it. You also nailed the shoot this weekend in, I can't even remember what it was. Was it Sunday Stella? Sunday Life. Sunday Life. Sunday Life, yes. My favourite. fun. My favourite photo. You look magnificent. So did Carlos. 
My oh, favourite photo is you both wearing some sort of satin tuxedo and Carlos going commando underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> and you wouldn't be you won't be surprised to learn that of course that was Carlos's idea to take the shirt off. Of course. He wanted to go sans. So he had the shirt on and mine was a tux with nothing underneath. So he thought, hang on, I'm not having any of this. I want to take my shirt off as well. He's so competitive, that bloke, you know? Yes. He can't he just he, we had, like we're the same. It's it's hilarious. So we'll both uh that was our audition for the latest Bond movie because I think they're still looking for a <laughs> For the next James Bond, I reckon I'm in. I'm in a good position. For you that. are so great together. You must be thrilled. Yeah, it's so much fun. You know, that's what makes waking up at three a.m. so much easier, Chrissy. Because yeah. it's like I get to wake up and I'm straight into it, straight out of bed, get to work, read our briefs and the papers and all of that. And then you're sitting next to just this awesome bloke who's been doing it for like a thousand years. Mm. I'm pretty sure a thousand years, if something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and he, he's just so good at it. So I'm learning from him every day. But it's just the best part about it is that is the laughs that we have. It's well, just obviously, so much fun. obviously, I wake up with today. Um, obviously, and uh, you, you that that show's always been my favorite. But never more so than than now with you in there too. Magnificent. We've Legend. also got to talk about your witchery white shirt campaign. We had yes. Sylvia Jeffries on to talk about it. Oh, the divine Sylvia. Isn't yes. she gorgeous? Oh, and um, I was wearing my shirt on that day. They're lovely. You are an ambassador. I want to mm. give another plug. We don't have to talk too much about it. Everybody sort of knows. Uh, the Witchery White Shirt is available to shop in store and online now, and 100% of the gross proceeds will be donated direct to the Ovarian Cancer Research Foundation. Hop in store or online. Full disclosure, I feel weird talking to you because you are like best mates with Jack Charles, and it feels weird that he's not conducting the interview, but and still here I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but J- you know what, Jack and I like dinners are our thing, yeah. Chrissy. So this is, you know, we'll we'll allow this, won't we, Jack? Dinners are our thing until you fall asleep halfway through them because you Ooh. haven't had an alpha nap. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> how's that for a sledge? He, I didn't know I was coming on here to get burned, he's JC. A, he's a brutal friend, isn't he? He's is brutal. My other thing that I wanted to say, I was going to text you this morning, but I'm proud of you because I saw you earlier this week doing a push-up challenge, which is yeah. a peak breakfast TV, and I loved it, and B. <laughs> Alex Cullen didn't even do it correctly. You actually did it. And I was like, wow, she's got she's got guns, man. Yeah. I schooled that boy you on did. a push-up. I mean, yeah. I mean, apparently they were quite wide. They needed to be a bit narrower. But, you know, I was going for, like, the pectoral enhancement, not the triceps. Gotcha. Uh, no, you look, killed it. Good, I'm good. Unrelated, but is Alex Cullen an actual human being or is he a, a computer-generated <laughs> AI character? I've, you know I what? genuinely want to know. He is a terrific human being, Chrissy. We'll get him on your show to prove it. Okay, thank you. I'd like that. I like <laughs> we that. We could do the push up challenge rematch on radio because that's could, good radio. Yes. <laughs> and I'll beat him again. Um, I want to put you through a round of I've just got to ask. Now, this is mm-hmm. how it works, Sarah Arbo. You have interviewed thousands of people. Amazing. You're a wonderful journalist. Mm-hmm. But if thank you, you had. <laughs> A studio set up with just a stool. They always do that, don't they? Just a stool. Yes, it's more menacing. Yes. Uh, And Jennifer Coolidge was sitting on that stool. The great actress from White Lotus and whatever that Apple Pie movie was. American Pie. (laughs) Um, What is the one question you would ask her? I would say, Jennifer, why didn't you just take the stairs? Yes. Yes. It's just not fair. That, that a is, legion of fans tune into that show just to see her and she's ruined it for us all. I know she has. That's that's a good question, actually, because it hasn't really spoiled that much. No, it hasn't. No. Um, yeah. All right, your second person, Jennifer Coolidge, has been ushered out. Several mm. minders have had to take her. <laughs> and now sitting on the stool in front of you is host of Front Bar and uh, panellist, I guess, on Have You Been Paying Attention, my oh. ex-colleague, Sam Pang. Oh, Sam Pang. Well, you know, my question to him would be, what's it like to be unemployed? (laughs) But apparently you've just mentioned a couple of his employers, so apparently, I don't know, I'm yet to see any of that. Listen, is it a crime to want to work once a week for two hours? No, (laughs) apparently not. All right, Sam Pang has been ushered out because we can't pay him enough to stay any longer. No. (laughs) And now sitting on the stool... Ready for your one question, Mm. is Tracy Grimshaw. I love this woman. I do too. It's tough, but my question to Tracy has to be, you taught Carlos everything he knows, didn't Mm. you? Yes. The answer is yes. Obviously. I mean, yeah. 
It's not a very sophisticated question, is it? But she's <laughs> such a queen, answer. isn't she? She's <laughs> such a queen. Having said that, Ali Langdon's doing a brilliant job. Ali is also a queen. Yes, yes. that's true. Chandler's full of amazing women, I'm just going to say. That is true. Mm. That is true. Mm. All right, Sarah Arbo, as usual, an absolute delight. Um, we're still oh. employed. Great. That's good. Yes, I'm so <laughs> relieved to hear it. Will you come back Ooh. on in three months just to see if that remains the case? Yes. In three months, it's a date. Fantastic. I love you. Thank you so much for joining us. Love you guys. Bye, Thank mate. You. The Chrissy Swan Show. Chrissy's clickbait. Now, you know that sort of one of my New Year's resolutions, Jack, is to watch what everyone's watching. And yeah. And I've sort of done okay. I was late to the party, but I did finish White Lotus Series 1 and 2. I'm proud you got there. I've almost finished War Mania. I've got one episode to go. I haven't even watched that yet. Next on the list is Beef that everyone's talking about. Started it last night. And? Loved it. Okay. It's really... I can see how not everyone will love it. You will love it. It's very, it's really cool. Okay, great. And different and All just, right. I loved the cast. I even loved the, the house they were in. Like, uh, it's just sick. Okay, fabulous. It sounds up my alley, but I've nearly missed the boat because now with everyone's finished beef and they're moved on to obsession. And I've seen a headline here, Netflix forced to issue warning over intense obsession pillow scene. And I'm not sure I want to know about it because, spoiler alert, I haven't watched it yet. I know. And I hadn't either, but... Curiosity yeah. got the better of me and I went and watched it because the Netflix UK account actually tweeted out times that you should avoid watching this show with your parents because it gets so raunchy. Oh, okay. But oh, there's nothing more awkward, by the way. The oh, my God, it's the worst. The worst. Even I when s- you're old like me, it's just you really? just want to die. Yes, yeah, it's okay. awful. I still remember watching American Pie with my parents. Oh, my kid. God. <laughs> Kill but me now. There's that one scene that you mentioned in the, in the headline with the pillow. Yeah. And I've got it here because I want to play it to you live on air and see what your reaction okay, is. Okay, all right. Because it's pretty, it's pretty hectic. So on well, the- then it's not going to spoil anything. It's just like a trailer. No, exactly right. Okay. Exactly. And trust me, there's not a lot of dialogue. Okay. So this is how it starts. He's on the bed. Okay. He's standing on the He's pulling. Oh, gosh, it's so hard to get the, the sheets, sheets off, off the hotel <laughs> bed, isn't it? Okay, smelling the pillow. Quite vigorously. What do they smell of? Good washing powder, probably. <laughs> I'm, I do. I'm guessing a woman. Oh, okay. Oh, I was thinking of like <laughs> softly. Radiant. <laughs> like someone that uses a fabric softener does it for me. Really? Yeah. That's what gets you going. I love clothes that smell like laundry and. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now he's tops off his hands down his pants and he's smelling the cushion. This reminds me so much of my Cavoodle Murphy and his pop. <laughs> this is, fully is, this is Murphy. exactly what Murphy does in the yard with his Kong. Can you imagine <laughs> watching this with your parents? Can you imagine? I know. <laughs> Murphy! <laughs> stop it! I can see you! I'm going to stop there. All right, I think, yeah, thank you. I think I've seen enough. Before you get too excited. That, that's the most action I've had in years. <laughs> um, well, look, I understand that that is absolutely adults only stuff. But maybe he likes fabric softener. I get it. <laughs> you, don't, you still don't believe it's a woman? <laughs> I really don't. It's not a woman's smell. It's Omo. It's omo <laughs> Um All right, let's uh, have a little change of pace here. That's very interesting and absolutely we'll be watching. Um, I love crazy laughs. There's yeah. nothing funnier. And this Dutch, uh, it's probably like the Today Show um, equivalent. Speaking of, wasn't Sarah Arbo heaven? Um, in, I, I never know what country Dutch is. The Netherlands. The Netherlands, is it? Yes. You want to say, okay, so in the Netherlands... This guy's being interviewed. They're not speaking English. You don't need to understand what they're saying. They're at a chicken farm. Yeah. And it turns out that the guy that works there laughs exactly like a chicken. Have a listen. (laughs) (laughs) Not yet. That's a bit horsey. (laughs) 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 I I think it was an angel. That's brilliant. I think when they walked away, they saw three fresh eggs that he'd laid. <laughs> now check this out. The Chrissy Swan Show is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.